Yeah, so uh, my name is Pavel Pleskov. Uh, I'm Kegel Grandmaster, currently in number three. Have a major in mathematics and economics. And uh, I started Kegel uh, like two years ago. I quit my job uh, as a quantitative researcher at high frequency trading firm. And uh, I started to decide what I'm gonna do next. Uh, I started to do some Coursera courses, uh, including the famous Andrew NG course. And uh, what they uh, all lack uh, was uh, like practical skills, some homeworks. And I found uh, those uh, skills really easy to improve on Kaggle. So that's what I started to do like full time. And uh, now I'm where I am. Actually, I have a full-time job right now. I work for a startup called Point API. It's an LP startup, uh, MIT-based, and I'm working remotely. So, yeah, it takes a lot of time. And uh, the rest I devote to Kaggle and uh, to traveling. I participated uh, to uh, like 50 competitions, and it's really hard to pick one. Uh, yeah, uh, there were a couple of first places, uh, but I think uh, the most enjoyable uh, was uh, the one I got the third place. Uh, it's uh, about Russian language, some Google uh, NLP competition about ra Russian language. And uh, the reason it's my favorite because uh, I was traveling uh, during this competition and staying uh, via couch surfing. And uh, it was uh, two days before the end, uh, and I was sitting in front of my broken computer, and there were kids uh, running around me and screaming, and uh, I was like competing uh, 12 hours per day in this uh, setting. <laughs> so it was quite an experience. Be my favorite libraries. Uh, the one uh, would be PyTorch, uh, definitely. It's uh, like there is a. Uh, yeah, uh, the interest in PyTorch is really growing right now and uh, I, I know people who even uh, don't use uh, NumPy, just uh, pure PyTorch and uh, this is incredible. Uh, the second uh, library would be LightGVM. Uh, I know a lot of people back in the days like liked uh, IGBoost but LightGVM is better and uh, like it, it is faster and, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last one uh, would be fast AI, definitely. I, I'm a really huge fan of Jeremy Howard and uh, the work he did on uh, building fast AI and promoting uh, like uh, the love uh, of neural nets. Uh, it's just incredible and uh, I find it really useful, even though some people complain about it, but I like it. When I was uh, picking a library, like a boosters library, uh, I think uh, a lot of people were saying that LightGBM is faster. And uh, you can actually uh, get uh, GPU functionality uh, uh, using just pip and not uh, not uh, building from the source. And uh, in this in this sense, uh, actually, uh, Cat Boost is even better now because you can uh, install like GPU version uh, with pip, and uh, it uh, utilizes all GPUs out of the box. And uh, th this is uh, this is incredible. So like a year ago, Cat Boost uh, was really crappy. But, but now I think uh, that's no, it's becoming number one. <laughs> yeah, uh, so th there have been a lot of frustration when you compete a lot. Um, you definitely make some mistakes. And uh, one of the recent uh, like misfortunes that what happened to me, um, the, uh, we had a team of three and uh, uh, I, I've been a leader and I've chosen uh, a submission, uh, which, like, I've... Uh, I, I, so, I've chosen a submission, like, two hours before the end, and I, I changed my mind to the other submission, and we went uh, from the 10th place and gold, gold medal to the 50th place and silver medal, and uh, my teammate, she was crying, like, the entire night, and uh, it, it was really frustrating <laughs> for the whole team. Yeah, that's a really hard one. Um, I think, uh, like throughout the entire experience on Kaggle and past th six months, uh, it's uh, you uh, don't give up. I mean, uh, if you continue pushing, uh, you you will succeed. I think uh, that that's the most uh, the most useful advice. 
so um, yeah, that, that's the tough one. So uh, there, there are a lot of leakages in uh, Kaggle datasets. Uh, I would say it's it's not uh, it's not worst <laughs> like comparing with different different platforms. Uh, I think uh, the most surprising for me is that for any kind of data, uh, you can um, you can augment your data. So it's easy to imagine for images. And even for NLP, I, I know that uh, Anthony was really surprised that uh, you can uh, augment your NLP data set with uh, translating words, like back, back and forth or finding synonyms. And uh, uh, as recent uh, standard competitions showed, you can even augment table tabular data. And uh, this for me is, is incredible. So uh, I'm really impressed by rapid developments in NLP, uh, in let's say BERT model and uh, other other models like that, and uh, recent developments in uh, open AI models. I think there was uh, a lot of noise about that. They didn't want to release the full trained model because uh, they thought um, it could uh, be damaging to, to like, uh, you know, like in the sense of uh, producing fake news. I don't like totally agree with that, but uh, I, I really like uh, uh, the, those improvements in NLP. I think uh, parties see the favorite part of Kaggle days <laughs> and uh, like me meeting uh, people in person and uh, in real life and uh, hanging out with them, that, that's the most enjoyable part. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.